back learners in this module we are going to discuss about the basics of security auditing of course security auditing is the most important area as far as cyber security is concerned we'll see what is the meaning of security auditing A security audit is a systematic evaluation of the security of a company's information system by measuring how well it conforms to a set of established criteria. A thorough audit typically assesses the security level of an organization in terms of its physical configuration, environment, software, information handling processes and finally the user practices security audits are often used to determine the regulatory compliance in the wake of standard legislations such as HAPAA Oxley Act and California Security Breach Information Act generally they specify how organizations must deal with the information security audits do not take place in a vacuum they are part of the ongoing process of defining and maintaining effective security policies. Computer security auditors basically use certain tools and fair measurable ways to examine how secure a user site is. Computer security auditors also perform their work through a personal interview, vulnerability scans, examination of operating system settings, analysis of network shares and finally the historical data. They are concerned primarily with how security policies from the foundation of effective organizational security strategy. There are many number of key questions that security audits should attempt to answer. Following are some of them. First, are passwords difficult to crack? Are there access control lists in place on network devices to control who has access to what data? Are there audit logs to record who accesses the data? Are the audit logs reviewed? Are the security settings for operating systems in accordance with accepted industry security practices? Have all unnecessary applications and computer services been eliminated for each system? Are the operating systems and commercial applications patched to current levels? How is backup media stored? Who has access to it? Is it up to date? Is there any Mechanism for disaster recovery. Is there a disaster recovery plan? Have the participants and the stakeholders ever rehearsed the disaster recovery plan? Are there adequate cryptographic tools in place to govern data encryption? And have these tools been properly configured? Have custom built applications been written with security in mind? Have these custom applications been tested for security flaws? How are the configuration and code changes documented at every level? How are these records reviewed and who conducts these reviews? These are the fundamental questions that should be assessed by a security auditing mechanism. By answering to these questions honestly and rigorously, an organization can definitely and realistically assess how secure the vital information of this organization is. Conducting an internal audit is something that is great towards protecting against a data breach and other costly security threats and vulnerabilities. There are five steps involved to be taken necessarily to ensure the internal security audit. They are defining the audit, defining the threats, assessing current security performance, prioritizing, in other words we call it as risk scoring, 
and finally formulating the security solutions. We will see one after the other. Defining the audit. The first job of an auditor is to define the scope of the audit which means one needs to write down the list of assets. Then the assets include computer equipments, sensitive company and customer data. It also includes things that are very important for business that require time as well as money. Once there are lengthy list of assets, it is a must to define the security perimeter. A security perimeter segments the assets into two buckets, namely things that will audit and things that will not be audited. Hence, one must choose their most valuable assets, build a security perimeter around them and put 100% focus of those assets. Second, defining the threats. Taking into account the list of valuable assets, corresponding list of potential threats to those assets are to be written down. This can range from employee passwords, protecting sensitive company or customer data, to DDoS types of attacks, etc. It can even include physical breaches or damages caused due to a natural disaster. A list of common threats that can occur during these steps are negligent employees, phishing attacks, poor password behavior, malicious insiders, DDoS attacks, bring your own device, malware, physical breach or natural disaster. Thank you.